Where was Croydon's Satan UXB unexploded bomb? It's Path A News from nineteen forty five shows the bomb being retrieved from the ground. <laughs> People of Croydon have said goodbye to their most celebrated bomb, Herman, a resident in the district since January 1941. They called it Herman, not for this individual bomb, but this was a classification of size of bomb of around 1,200 kilograms, or basically a ton. Since May of this year, sappers have carried out the hazardous task of digging through 48 feet of clay to reach the 4,000 pounder, now exposed at the bottom of the shaft. So since it's a £4,000 bomb, it shouldn't have been called a Herman because the classification for a £4,000 bomb was a Satan. This was a Satan unexploded bomb, or UXB. In the neighbourhood were evacuated to safe areas before the most dangerous task of all began, removing the fuse and making the explosive harmless. Invalids are carried to safety and even the Christmas tree is evacuated to the garden shelter. So this has been done in December 1945, there being a Christmas tree. I guess a Christmas tree indicates that this was December 1945. Main roads are roped off and traffic diverted. Everywhere is a familiar sign, unexploded bomb. But where in Croydon was this? This view gives us a clue, because there's a church in the background. And some other building. set for raising Herman to the surface. A careful check of the lifting apparatus and the final lift is completed. No praise is too high for the skill and courage of the grand team who worked together to make Croydon's Herman as harmless as the one in Nuremberg. That is one size of a bomb. So it was there for five years and it took the sappers, the Royal Engineers, from May to December to get at it, to get it out of the ground. So where was this? There's no information in the description of this British Pathé newsreel, but we've got a date and the reference to it being a Herman. Let's have a look through the British newspaper archive. Search for Croydon bomb, and narrow it down to 1945, December. The Croydon bomb, the Croydon bomb, the Croydon bomb, Herman, is now harmless. Have a look at this. The Hartlepool Northern Daily Mail, Monday the 19th of December, 1945. The Croydon bomb, Herman, is now harmless. I'm going to turn off the search terms, get rid of those boxes. Croydon, which ranked among the top places in the list of London areas hit hardest by the Luftwaffe, breathed freely again today as they received their last all-clear. The signal sent not by wailing siren, but by the cheery words of police and civilian voluntary workers brought thankfulness to nearly 100 families who had been evacuated from their homes while bomb disposal squads rendered harmless the town's 4,000. I would say that should have been pounds there. 4,000 pound unexploded bomb which dropped in a timber yard on January 11th, 1941. Five words spoken by an elderly woman summed up the relief felt by the neighbourhood. Thank goodness it's all over, sighed Mrs Evans of Helder Street. Right, so they haven't actually told us where the bomb was, but if the residents in the local area were evacuated and she was from Helder Street, let's have a look at Google Maps. Oh, South Croydon. Okay, that'll do. What if we can make a comparison between the, the houses? Let's go back to where they were evacuating people.
So these windows are not particularly unique. But these doorways with these arches above them. Let's have a look at the Google Maps, see if we can find something similar to that today. This is August 2021. The houses haven't changed much, which is good. There's some curved areas there, but if we look at the the arches above the doorways, they're actually below the string course there and line up with that transom above the window. Here the arches are above where are they? The top of the doorways there are below the top of the windows. Hmm, yeah, it looks similar. From this angle. bush in the way. The ore dates and that bush wasn't there. Oh, that's a bit better. Let's try this one. So how similar does this view look to this view? Bear in mind that the cameraman here is actually shorter than the policeman and the camera on the street view car is on the roof looking down. But what we have is a nice block above the window frames. The top of the block is above the arches. These dark areas here are called string courses. Can't see the string courses here because the brickwork looks all the same, but mm, not sure. This looks like brickwork. This looks like slabs. Similar, but not entirely sure it's the same. That's Helder Street. Holder Street. And that would have been the Selsdon Road. What about Hailing Road? What does that look like? Um, not much of it's left. Not much is left from what was there in the war period. Hmm. No, different. What about this part? That's a bit more promising. This looks more promising. The top of the door is below the top of the window and the transom is brick. They're brick. Top of the door is below the top of the window and the arch above the doorway is above the transom. Yes, that looks like it. Can we see where they're two together? No. Uh, we can't. This would have been a good candidate. But 
it looks like it's been rendered over. It's a shame. But it's pretty similar. This brickwork above the window and brick and the brick arch above the door. Again, what was this fetish to get rid of these old features? Okay, so a timber yard on the 11th of January 1941, and we've got a road. So, where was the timber yard? There is fortunately a map from Exploring Surrey's Past website Surrey World War II bomb incident map. So let's zoom in to Croydon. I can recognise Mitchum Common there. Now we're looking for the South Croydon area. And this is showing us all types of bombs. Click on the legend to display or turn off each bomb type. So let's get rid of that. That, that, that. Leave that one. High explosive UXB. Out. That, 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 and that. So let's narrow it down. And we're looking for South Croydon. So where's South Croydon Station? Not that one. Selston Station. Salmon's dead. Pearly Oaks. Oh, gone too far. South Croydon Station. So go back to Google Maps to reorient myself. South Croydon Station. So basically where the Selsden and Brighton Road split is there. So let's go back to the World War II map. So that's the Selsden Road and the Brighton Road. That's where they split there. And we're looking at this one. There's been a likely one because that's then Holder Street. See the shape. That shape. So if they were evacuated in these streets and they look similar to the windows and doorways look similar to the Pathy Newsreel. This is a candidate, but the date is wrong. The newspaper article referred to the bomb having dropped on a timber yard on January 11th, 1941. But this is referring to 27th of December, 1940. Let's have a look at the information. 27th to 28th of December. Four high explosive bombs and four UXBs. Delayed action bombs. Delayed action bombs have fallen since the raid. Oh, so the description of four high explosive bombs refers to this bit here. Four bombs were dropped on the golf course and caused no damage, and four UXBs delayed to these ones. Delayed action, i.e., they're unexploded. We've got four of them 87 Brighton Road. Davis Timber Yard. Let's go back to the Google Maps and search for Brighton Road, South Croydon. Oh, there you go. No Sandy. It's actually there. And there's our Helder Street, which we just looked at, and the houses that had similar looking arches and windows. But what about this church? Distinctive, a distinctive spire on that church. The way to look for things like that is to go into satellite view. 3D option. And if that's where the unexploded bomb was, this view 
Is this the Brighton Road? And there's a church. St. Peter's Church, South Croydon. Was where the bomb fell, which in this view is an SO petrol station. Yes, Croydon's Satan bomb, two ton bomb, fell here where this petrol station is now, 87 Brighton Road, which was the which was a timber yard. And that's what's referred to in the article. And the date difference is that this says January 11th, 1941. But this says, delayed action bombs have fallen since the raid. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, which wasn't about Mitchum, but it interested me, so I thought I'd do it. Please press that like button down there. On my video, not this one. Well, put it on this one as well. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Bye for now.